Welcome back travelers inside of Havoc here and we are back playing a little bit of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. But as we get started today, I want to do something a little bit different. I got an idea from one of you and that kind of blossomed into what this basically is. He asked for a shout out, which I'm all about, you know, giving you guys credit for, you know, being part of the family and all. But I thought it'd be a great idea to kind of expand on that. And so I thought maybe I'll start doing an introduction of some of the new subscribers and kind of giving a little shout out to some of the older subscribers who are obviously giving me ideas. So what I want to do is my brand new three subscribers that have been added this week. We've got Cole Smith, Robert, I don't know if it's Lyles or Isles, and then we got Philip Spruill. And I'm do sorry if I'm butchering your names, but brand new to the channel. Now, Super Brian AK here, he has actually been around for about a week, but he's actually chimed in a couple times and offered some help, which I really do appreciate. And I do like when, you know, people let me know what they like and don't like and everything. Now, Gamer Undead here, he's actually thrown me a couple tips recently, so I want to give him a little credit, uh, Gamer of the Undead. Dead. And you can see that was just one of his tips because I was asking in the last episode about the white stones as well as the furnaces and he kind of pitched in some information there. So I do appreciate that. Now Shadow V5 versus Minecraft. He has been around for quite a while. He is an active member of the community and I want to make sure he gets his credit of course. And finally I want to finish up with Andrea. I want to say it's Halis. Haley's, I don't want to butcher your name, I'm sorry. But basically, she has been around for well over a year now. She's constantly chiming in on videos and helping me out when I need it. And I just want you guys to know that I really do appreciate it. And I will continue to do stuff like this. So until then, here we go. So when we left off last... Oh, where did I put my book? Oh, it's not my book, it's here. When we left off last, um, I did forget to do uh, show one thing. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Hey, get back here. Let me zoom this out a little bit. On the auto sieving, I did forget to mention that I did make the uh, fortune and speed upgrades. Well, I forgot to do it in the episode, but I did do those and I claimed the, the loot chest already. And uh, basically that was kind of it. I've kind of left, you know, I'm, I'm right where we left off or whatever. But I do want to start getting some more of this Tinker stuff done because this is a lot of easy loot chest right here, if you ask me. Make it a gem cast and, you know, do stuff like that. And then hemp we already did. So we can actually claim that one like a soul. And that actually takes us off towards enchanting. I'm not sure I see the connection, but cool. And then a Coke oven as well as the uh, blast furnace for immersive engineering. So I'm thinking it might be about time to start expanding our little area here. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, oh, I got the immersive engineering book. Ha ha ha, cool. I didn't even see that at first. All right, well, let's see if we've got anything cool in the loot chest. Nope, but I got another kitchen. That's awesome. You know, in case I really want to cook a lot of food, I now have three kitchens worth. So that's awesome. Oh, but let me show you guys kind of what I've done. Okay, first of all, I'm going to turn my back because I have to explain this first. It is ugly, 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 ugly. Okay, it is super ugly. Uh, oh, you can see it. I will figure out a way to make this prettier, more than likely once I can make the Ender I.O. conduits. Uh, but I made it big, though. I made it really big. And as you can see, it is highly functioning. Uh, you probably saw this in the uh, thumbnail for the last episode. Uh, yeah, you basically get one piece of iron for everything that you sift. So lots of iron, lots of iron, lots of iron. Right? It is actually working quite well. I've actually got it turned off right now because I didn't want these. These were pumping out faster than these could actually uh, strain. You can see, I'm just now getting caught up on them. And so with that being, oh yeah, these were filling up. That's what it was. And so this stuff was just shooting all over the place. So I've actually turned it off for the moment and I'm just letting it play catch up right now because they were all totally full uh, flowing over. But let me show you how I did this. So <coughs> I was trying my one cobblestone generator right and the one cobblestone generator put out or the survivalist generator sorry put out a decent amount of energy not really uh, it was enough to run like almost one of those things so we wanted to change that up so i eventually upgraded to the lava generators which weren't too bad they weren't too expensive and i just kept waiting until more materials came out and then i just yeah so we've got the lava generators now right and they're all pumping from these eight crucibles which the cobblestone's pumping into and they're doing their thing. And so I've got basically a ton of lava now that's always just pumping in. But what's awesome is if you remember the torch was like one time speed and then like lava was two times speed. 
Well, apparently, if you put Yellorium or Yellorite or whatever under them, it's a 50 time melting speed. And I forget which, I think it was this one that was giving me Yellorium. Uh, one of them was. No, that's that's Glowstone. I thought that one was. There it is. Uh, the Yellorium dust. I was getting a ton of Yellorium dust. So I basically smelted that all down and made eight blocks. And now those are all under all the uh, crucibles. And I'm getting a ton of lava. Tons and tons of resources. Easy peasy stuff. Right? Right. So let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away that we don't need at the moment. Um, oh, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the heads up on the white stone. Um, apparently throwing it out during, well, I'm going to test it out, but throwing it out during a blood moon. Okay, I really need to make another chest. Um, it might be time. Oh, hey, I got a loot chest in there. Let's get you. Oh, you know what? We got some loot bags. Let's check those out too. We'll, we'll, we'll do all this simultaneously. Um, okay. So anyways, uh, what I was trying to say, what was that? Cat ears? Oh, how cute. A thick eyebrow? In the amulet slot? Well, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, oh, 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 more artifact. Uh, restores health after taking lethal damage. And rotten flesh, really. Uh, we've got jade and some chance cubes. Uh, another division sigil. Oh, some more armor. Uh, night vision when equipped, uh, damage resistance when equipped, and food saturation. That might be better than the one I'm currently wearing. And what else do we got? I'm running out of room here. Um, no room for the nether wart. Oh, well. Oh, it's going to stay in there, so there we go. And now that I hand that be Okay, cool. So anyways, I was talking about something. Oh, yes. So I want to test out, the next time we have a Blood Moon, I want to test out this White Stone. Basically throw it on the ground and it activates and then you kill mobs and then once you get like 500 mob kills, then um, awesome things happen. <laughs> That's a generic way to say it. Uh, basically, it protects you from death. That's what I was told. And so that will definitely be something we're going to test out. Um, I should probably turn those into planks, huh? But anyways, we're going to dive back in and get going on some more of these quests. Hey, turn around. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and just put the stuff in here for right now. I eventually will clean house. It will happen eventually. But at the, at the moment, it's kind of, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking, I don't know. Maybe I want to extend on this side because I extended on this side for this one. But... I think the immersive engineering stuff kind of goes with this really, really well. It just kind of goes with the tinker stuff. So we might get going on that right now, right? Because we're going to need the immersive engineering. Um, we don't need it. It's going to be an easy way to make steel. So we need 27 coke brick. I think I can do that. Let us check out coke brick. Coke brick. Where are you at? Coke brick. There you are. Okay. So we're going to need clay, regular brick, and sandstone to make two of those. Huh. How much clay do I have at the moment? Let me let me look for that. Because I'm going to need a lot. Because uh, I'm going to need 28, which is 14. 14 times 8, basically. So 80. Um, oh, 100 and some odd. Okay. Um, huh. Let us get some clay. Let us get some clay. I had some, not a lot. That's porcelain clay. There's, what, 32 right there. Okay, so we're going to go back over here. I just put dust in one of these. And I know I've got tons of, haha, -ha, dust. There we go. Let me, let me get that off now. And I'm pretty sure I've got some dust back stored down here. And so we should be able to do this. Um, you should be in here, right? Nope, that's sand that puts out the dust. Okay, that, that's enough. 126 or 128, that should be enough. And my bucket's around here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and make up all the clay that we need. Because I'm going to need four clay and then four bricks, which would be four more clay. And there's my bucket. Okay, cool. And get that all going. And then once I get all the clay and bricks done, 
uh, we will come back and Mr. Wallace, you're kind of in the way right there. You're not in a very useful spot. But yeah, so we'll get all this clay done and then uh, once we're done with the clay, we will come back and uh, get our coke oven done. So we'll be right back. And actually, I've got the clay cooking up right now, but I did want to make one thing. I thought it would be a good idea to make a, uh, a cobblestone generator. And so I think I've got a still enough pipes around here. Uh, item duct, we're gonna need, what, one of those? Yes. Um, fluid duct, yeah, I've got ideas. Anyways, um, I need to make a barrel. Um, I forget what they're called. Uh, I always go to bed rocking them because that's how I remember the name of the barrel. Um, drum, that's what they are, not barrels, drum. Um, because what I want to do is be able to store lava. Um, what is just vanilla? There it is, just a vanilla drum. Vanilla drum is iron, iron plates, and a cauldron. We can do that easy. I'm not too familiar with these drums, so uh, these are going to be a little bit new to me. But basically what I want to do, I want to try something. If I remember correctly, um, you can put... Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking recipes simultaneously here. There we go. Uh, you can put base, uh, like any like fluids into a, like a stone, uh, whatever these were called, the stone barrels or whatever. I can put like lava into it and then put a water source block over it and it'll turn it into obsidian and I can suck it out the bottom and then use fluid duct to pump the lava in, which I have to have somewhere. So let me just grab all my item duct real quick and hardened fluid duck that's perfect i just need one of those and let's go put this barrel down by our lava generator real quick so like that and you should fill with lava yes awesome 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 and then what this is going to do is i'm going to put well heck i could just do it straight out of this i wouldn't even need the barrel Ooh, that's interesting okay so fluid duct is going to go like that right and then I'm going to make a stone barrel that's going to empty into a chest right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this is going to work. This is so going to work. All right, except I might need to grab one of the servos, which is fine. I think I've got like two left after all that stuff I made down there. So, yeah, so I'm going to try to make an obsidian generator. And I will eventually pretty that area up. But for the time being, it's just being functional. And I'm all about functionality. So I'm okay with the way it's set up at the moment. I was coming up here to get the recipe for a stone barrel. That's right. Stone barrel, 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 stone barrel. There it is. There's two of them. That one's, they're the same recipe. Okay. So six pieces of stone and a stone slab. Uh, do I have any more stone sitting around here? Or stone slabs for that matter. I don't remember if I made any been a couple days aha i saw stone slabs there's one and stone i don't have any stone but i can smelt that up really quick like oh the furnace is done one two three four five six there we go are you done oh you still have more clay all right um that's gonna give me 11 that's nowhere near enough i need more coal um do i have any coal in here i do have coal in here cool so let me go ahead and make some more mini coal, like so. Oh, that was a lot more than I thought I was going to get. Okay, cool. And then I've got mini coal in there, and we're going to smelt up the brick. And we're going to see if we can make an auto uh, obsidian generator. I think we can do this. I do, 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 do. I know I made a saw earlier, and I'm not seeing what I'm looking for. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, service. Oh, yeah, they're there. Uh, I have a saw around here somewhere that I had made because I had thought about that. There it is. And then I had stopped doing what I was going to do. And let's go ahead and grab a piece of just vanilla cobble. We'll see if that works. And I will show you what that plan is in just a second. So basically what I plan on doing... Oh, I'm going to need another chest. I'm thinking I should be able to create, upgrade this to gold. And Let me see if I can. Um... I have one iron, uh, 
Nope, I'm gonna have to smelt up some gold. I don't have any in here, do I? Nope. All right, we're gonna get this all going. I have tons of gold there. And I can only do nine at a time, so that's more than enough right now. Okay. There we go. There's all 16 of those. And that way I'll have enough gold. Yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I, problem, I promise, in my head, in my head, there is a thought process going on. I'm just not vocalizing it very well at the moment, but it will all come to flourishing really, really soon. All right, so you go like that, that's stone barrel, sweet. So this is gonna automatically pump lava into the stone barrel like that, right? Right? Uh, interestingly, no, because I don't have a servo there. So let me put a servo here. And, oh, that barrel like took everything. So just a little bit of time. This won't, may not be the fastest thing. Yeah, because it's the barrel's taking all the lava right now. So maybe we'll do an inside outward dice. Oh, I put my hammer away. It's okay. So what I can do then is take it from the barrel into here. Cotton fluid duck. And we'll take out of here like that. And then you should fill that up with lava. Yes, sweet. And then this is gonna go to a chest like right here. And this chest is gonna pull the obsidian out. And now I just need to make these guys. Oops. There we go. Like that and bingo. Perfect. So what this is gonna do is gonna hold the water in place, basically. So put one, um, can I put you on top? Why? Why, oh why? Okay, hold on. That'll work. Okay. And then I'm gonna put you there, there, <clears throat> there, and there, right? And then remove this dust. And then I can put a bucket of water right there. And that way I'll have a steadily water over the lava. And yes, good things should happen at that point. And I really want to get some more ender pearls as well. That is, that has been kind of like <clears throat> my hardest thing to get because I'm afraid of those John Cena creepers. They were rocking me and I don't want to get rocked by them anymore. All right, so water there. And then obsidian should go into here. Well, it's not getting sucked out yet, but yes, it did turn into obsidian. This will auto fill with the lava. Okay, cool. Let us go make an iron chest. I should have enough iron to make an iron chest. And then I can upgrade them once that gold is done. Which there's no lava, of course. Because why would I have enough lava in there? There we go. I didn't know you could do that. I just tried. That's awesome. I'm learning. Okay, there you go. So now you've got lava. Okay, so what was I coming up here for? I was coming up here to make a chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so weird only getting like one per, but I'm kind of getting in the habit of it now. So it's 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 a little bit of okay. Um, and then I need one of you, not two of you, but whatever. We'll just turn you in all into ingots. Okay, and so that is that, right? Yes, okay, cool. So we've got the iron chest. Let me grab that other servo. All right. And this should start basically making as much obsidian as we could possibly want. And I know I'm gonna have to grab my hammer because, oh, it didn't connect. Awesome. I was like, that's gonna bother me. Uh, let's just put this one on here for right now. And you should start putting obsidian in here. Yes. And then you're gonna pump full of lava and then bam. Oh, look how fast that is. Oh, that's awesome. That's an awesome obsidian generator. That's that's awesome. Okay, I'm pumped. I'm jazzed. This is this is doing good things. There's so much cobble in here right now. Oh no, actually not. I'm only at 156 stacks. Okay. Well, let us go get our clay. And oh, I'm gonna need to grab some sand. Uh, sand is in this one. No, sand is in this one. Yes. And I need to make some sandstone. And then we will be able to make our coke oven. Whew. I feel as though I'm a little disoriented, but I, I, I'm not. Like, I know exactly what I want to do. 
There's 64 of those, and I think I'm, oh, no, hold on. I didn't want to do that, because it's like that, right? And then sandstone in the middle and clay like that. Is it off by one? Did I, I always do that. Okay, so there is 32 of them. I need a 27, so we're good. Ha ha. Now, where are we gonna put this bad boy? Can I put it back here? It's gonna be a three by three. I'm okay with it being right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and put them right here. It's gonna be right above my, are you kidding me? What material was this anyways? Um, I forget what the, oh, flint. Oh yeah, that's easy. I got plenty of flint around here somewhere. There we go. I think it's just one to repair it. Yep, good. We're good to go. Okay, cool. Now, with the Coke oven though, I believe I want to do it actually like, like this. I don't want it to be fully up in the air. So I think I'm going to put a layer under like so. And then we'll put the other layer above. I just, I, they're really tall structures. And since my uh, smeltery is only one block high over here, I think I want to do the same thing with the Coke oven. So I'm going to do it like this. And I don't remember if that middle block has to be empty or not. So we'll try it with, and then we'll try it without. And where's my hammer at? My hammer is around here somewhere. I remember I made it to make the bucket. Ah, there it is. All right, cool. And let us give a little tappy tap on it. Nope, yeah, I think that middle one has to be empty. Okay, let us try that now. Brick, is there one in there? Yep, come here. Okay, like that, and then tap. Hold on, what am I missing here? Isn't that how you do a Coke oven? That's how you do a Coke oven, right? Does the middle block have to be exposed? Or oh, it's the middle block that has to get hit. That's what it is. Now I remember. But that block has to be in there? I mean, it told me to make 27, so I would assume that that meant I needed all 27 blocks. Or else it would just tell me to make 26, right? It's been a while since I've done the immersive engineering, so. All right. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And I can fill this back in like that. And cool. So now we've got our Coke oven. Now let's take a look at the blast furnace because I know that's the next one. The blast furnace is with, ooh, with nether brick and then some blaze powder. I've got the blaze powder, so I'm going to need to make more brick up. And then I'm going to go ahead... Well, I'm gonna to need to make more clay. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna do that and it's fortunate that I <laughs> unknowingly started making obsidian because, whoa, that makes them fast. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and probably take a trip to the nether so we can go get some nether brick in and out really quickly. And yeah, let us, well, let me see. I, I keep forgetting to check to see if there's weird recipes like flint and steel. I had a feeling I need steel ingots. I don't have steel. So I'm going to have to do another portal doing burning wood, which shouldn't be a problem. That should work. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the clay to get this one get, uh, going. And then we're going to head to the nether. So let me get this clay and we will be right back. Okay, so we pretty much got everything we needed. I want to go make this portal as fast as possible, but I did make the upgrades in the meantime. That gold was done, so upgrade to gold, upgrade to diamond. Now we'll be able to make tons and tons of obsidian, and it is just gobbling up all this lava. Hopefully these are still staying powered. No, they're not. Ooh. Oh, uh, no, no, no. That's not good. Oh, they still have power. They're, they're still getting a little bit of power. Maybe I should go ahead and turn you off for right now. Because that's enough obsidian for the moment. And maybe I should just disconnect you. <laughs> there we go. Start pumping back into the system. All right, cool. So at least I know that this is working and I can basically have unlimited, uh, unlimited obsidian, which is awesome. Cool. 
And yeah, there we go. You're back to normal. All right, cool. So now, oh, I was down here because I realized I never actually put my walls up here. And I want to keep this area protected, obviously. But what I think I'm going to do is branch off down here and put the nether portal. I don't want it right next to where I'm living, obvious for obvious reasons. It's loud and annoying and it, we don't want that around. But at the same time, I want it relatively close by so I don't have to go like, you know, run long distances to get to it or whatever. So, and I think, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that corner because I'm never gonna run over there. So I'm thinking the nether portal is gonna actually extend off this way. And we're just gonna do a little area right here. Nothing big. I'm actually gonna keep it separated just like this. Just one block. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, perfect. And I brought my builder's wand just to put the portal. I think the portal will be on that row, so two behind it. So that's one, there's two, and then one for the wall. Okay, cool. That way, if anything spawns in, I just won't be hassled by it. Uh, like a zombie pigman come through the portal and stuff like that. I just want to keep them kind of isolated. And so I might go make like a fence gate or something like that as well. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually forget how to make a fence gate. It's been a while. Um, I need wood and sticks. It's either four sticks and two planks or vice versa, I forget. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Fence gate. Cool. And then I need to get a little more cobble. I'm sure I have cobble one of these. Yes, I do. Just to make a couple more of those fences to complete that area down there. One, two. That should be enough. And then I need to punch in holes to make the nether portal, and we will be good to go. Whoa, my mouse, I got stuck. Well, that was crazy. Okay. <clears throat> so to the nether we're gonna go, get some nether rack really quick. I, I have some armor. I mean, it's not the greatest armor, but at least it's some armor. And so we should be okay. I'm only trying to get the nether rack for right now. And I don't even know, I know that, oops, I need more. I'm gonna do all 10. I never do all 10, so I'm gonna do all 10. I don't know if this is gonna be a floating nether uh, because I know when I did Sky Factory, when you get to the nether, there's floating nether fortresses, but everything else is, man, I didn't do this right. It's, <sighs> this is going to bother me. Um, okay, for right now, just to get this done with, I'm going to go ahead and rock it like this. <laughs> wow. It's been a while. Um... Let me use one of you to jump on. Here we go. There we go. Like so. There we are. 10 obsidian. Why am I? Oh, bare minimum is 10, huh? But I'm putting the corners in, so I needed the four more. There we go. I'm, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I'm remembering how to Minecraft. I remember how to Minecraft. There we go. And bink. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, because I can't make the flint and steel, I can put some lava next to some wood, and that should light it up. I remember seeing this somewhere. I don't remember exactly where I saw it, but I remember seeing someone do this before. Um, it was like old sky, like, um, not, what do you call it? Not like modded, but vanilla. Back when people used to do this to uh, get to the nether playing sky blocks. And you guys are just being weird. Come on, why aren't you setting? There we go. And then a block of lava. Where's my bucket? Did I put my bucket away? Ha ha ha. So much work to get there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the lava next to the wood. Hopefully the wood will then light a fire inside the portal and we will be good to go. So let us, hopefully there's some lava here I can grab out of one of these. It should be backed up a little bit. There we go, perfect. And I might, it might take a minute, so what I might do is fix the way I set this up. So I think just, um, hmm. 
let's do this. I'll fix this while this lava is burning and hopefully the wood gets started and then I'm gonna fix this platform while I'm waiting and we'll be back as soon as this is fixed. All right, so I got my first fire spread. I, I covered this thing in lava. Um, I'm thinking that might do it right there. There we go, that'll do it. Once this one burns off, that should start up the portal. Ha ha, perfect. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So now I can pick all this lava back up and we are ready to go to the nether. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. And pick you up back here. There we go. And I think that's all the lava. It is. All right, cool. So let's just Maddox this up and bing, we have another portal. We are ready to go to the nether. All right, so I've got some wood with me just in case I need to do that again, as well as I'm bringing a bucket so in case I have to place lava. Like, you know, if a, if a gas blows up my portal or whatever. And I think we should be good to go. Hopefully, hopefully I can get some nether rack relatively easily. Hopefully I can find like another fortress or something like that. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Like right on the edge. That is so dangerous. Okay. Let us, wow, it's really dark in here. I'm gonna go ahead and mine up. What is that? Oh, it's just fire, okay. I'm gonna get some of this real quick. Probably should have brought my builder's wand. It would have been a little easier because I'm gonna eventually want to encase my portal because I can already hear it gassed and I don't really want to mess with that. So let us make this a little safer. Like what, what, what kind of meanness is that by the game look at that like right on the edge like at least when it's like an air portal you know you get the the little platform but i didn't get anything that's freaking that's just mean right there is what that is that is just really mean all right good enough for right now all right so i want to get away from oh look at there's a fortress right there oh that's awesome that's really cool so i'm gonna go and try to vein mine over here I don't think my pick can cover that much territory, so. Ha ha ha. Tons and tons of netherrack now. Awesome. And lava pouring down. Cool. But anyways, now I can just, I brought like a ton of flint to repair my pick. I just want to get enough, you know, netherrack to get started. So I don't know if I'm going to be coming back, you know, anytime relatively soon. Oh, look at that. Leveled it up. Oh, I didn't even think about that because if you want to tweak, it's doing a whole lot of work. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's do that. And we'll do a little bit more. There we go. Some ores here. And let's just get a little bit more and then we'll be good down here for right now. Ha! Ah, just leveled it up again. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Why is my mouse freaking out? There we go. There we go. Let's get out of here. That's more than enough netherrack. Now we can definitely, oh wow, look how fast that is now. What did it get? Did it get like haste or something? Oh yeah, haste and quartz. Oh, I put the quartz on it. And reinforced. Nice, that, that gives me ideas of leveling up my, oh, oh yeah, I did hear, ah, uh, no, ho, ho. Oh my goodness. Yes, yeah, so zombie pigmen are automatically aggressive. I did remember reading that. I was I was prepping and oh my goodness. That was so close to death right there. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, while I'm here, might as well get you. Thank you. 60 netherrack, I'll take it. Yeah, it's like a black widow or something like that. Oh. Oh, where's that zombie pigment at? Oh, he's going to jump in here. Ah, no. Ha ha ha. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I am not ready for a fight. I am not ready for this. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Whoo. Oh my God. That was so close, but I didn't die. I didn't die. It's such a good day when I don't die. Oh my goodness. That was so close. Oh, what do I got? Oh, resistance. How do I get resistance on me? Oh, my armor. Probably from one of those near fatal hits or something like that. Speed boost. 
Um, food saturation heals for half a heart uh, for 10 seconds after taking damage. Oh, interesting. Uh, restores health after... Oh, tush. I'm assuming my armor is what kind of kept me alive there. That was that was just crazy. Huh. But we've got the netherrack, so I'm going to go up and smelt the netherrack. The clay should have been done like a long time ago. And then, yep, it's done. And so we're going to go ahead and swap these. And I need more coal. Where did I put all that coal? I put it down here. There we go. I'll put one of you in there for right now. Ha. Huh. Oh my goodness. My heart's racing right now. I, I, I knew that they were aggressive, but I totally forgot about it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get rid of all this stuff. And guess what? I need another chest. All right. So I'm going to wait for that all smelt up. And then we are going to make our uh, blast furnace or whatever it's called. Yeah, blast furnace, I think it is. And then uh, once the blast furnace is ready, I will be right back. Okay, so I thought about one more thing I do want to do today. And that is uh, throwing knives. I just don't remember the recipe for throwing knives. I think this is them right here, right? Uh, Shakira pattern, right? Yes. And that is used to make like throwing knives of some sort. Or maybe that is the throwing knife. And I can do them with flint. Uh, reason being is I keep getting those John Cena creepers, right? Like I keep mentioning. And I don't want to mess with them anymore. Plain, plain and simple. I just don't want to mess with them anymore. And parts can be replaced. Okay, cool. So is that the is that the throwing knife itself? I don't know much about throwing knives. I've never used them before. Nope. It's 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 part of something. Okay. Um but I don't see the recipe in, this is the tool one, right? To make a throwing knife, do I need to upgrade to the metal one? Let's check out the recipe on that. I know that's gonna be crazy, but let's check that out because I wanna make throwing knives so I can get Endermen and stuff like that. So I gotta clear out those uh, John Cena creepers. So tool forge, tool forge is four iron blocks, three sear brick and the tool station. That's easy. I'm pretty sure. Well, I know I can make enough iron. I may not have enough on me right now, but I get out of there. And you get out of there too. Okay, so we're going to have to make up some iron, but that's not a problem because I've got tons and tons of it. So this is going to give me 16 times 2 is 32. Um, and I need a little bit more. So we're going to cook up that iron. And I think I still have seared brick, don't I? Do I still have seared brick? I have two seared brick. Oh, I've got the three. One, two, three. Perfect. And now I'm just going to wait on the iron. Because, yeah, I want to make the um, throwing knives so I can take these guys out. Because when those John Cena creepers are over here, they're just a hassle. And I need to be able to get Endermen. And I'm not going to be able to get Endermen if I'm constantly running and hiding and having this area blown up by those John Cena creepers. So... I want to do that while we're waiting on our bricks and then we'll have our blast oven and then we'll start being able to make coal coal. Actually, I can make coal coal now. I've got tons of coal. Uh, coal. We'll grab some to start with. And I got a ton down here. I think it's in this one. Yeah. There we go. So then we can start making up some coal coke and I might just make coal coal blocks. I don't know because we're gonna to wanna to get that blast furnace going so we can make some steel. All right, so I right click on you, right? Let's just make these into blocks. We'll do 16 and 16. Uh, what am I doing? It's supposed to be nine. Ah, uh, my brain is not working right now. Okay, so like that, perfect. And like that, perfect. And then I can just come over here and get the coal coat going like so. Oh, that's right. I don't even need uh, a fuel. It's just, yeah. Let's go ahead and fill that bad boy up then. Then I can have plenty of that. Can I put these back into... Nope, those don't go back into coal. Okay. Lesson learned. Those don't go back into coal. And that's not enough for another one. So seven more. That's cool. So then we'll have plenty of coal coke. And then these should be pretty close to done. 61 and 30. Yep, that's more than enough. And then where are my clay bricks? Did I put my clay bricks away? Yes, I did. There they are. Okay. 
Oh, I don't know if I have enough clay bricks. I might need to make more of those. Um, what are we making? The blast furnace. Blast furnace bricks. I've got the blaze. Four and four gives me two. I need 27 also. Okay. So I need more clay. Actually, no, wait. Two, I need 27, so 28, so 14. That's going to give me 10. Yeah, I need a little more clay. Clay. There we go. I'll take you out. I don't need any more you right now. We'll get that going. Ha! Ah, so much stuff going on simultaneously. Uh, how's that iron going? That iron is done. Awesome. And let me put more iron in. That's it, seven? I thought I had more than that. Thought I had more than that. My math is just. Oh, yeah, six, nine. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. All right, there's one. Two's coming, and then three and four will be on the way. Cold Coke's going. The clay bricks should be getting close. Oh, what was the middle? Oh, blaze powder. I've got blaze powder. There's 11, and I've got more down there. So how many does this give me? This is going to give me 11. Okay. To start. Or 22, I should say. Okay. And I need to go get more blaze powder from down here, which is in this one. Yeah, I got plenty of blaze powder. Awesome. Oh, come on. I really want to get those ender pearls so I can make some elevators. But there's never seems to be any endermen in my stinking, uh, what do you call it? Mob grinder. Okay, I need three more. Come on. Split this in half. Get this clay going. There we go. And we'll get that really quickly. And iron. Come on, iron. You're almost done. You're almost done. Oh, you're out of lava. Oh, just running out of all my resources here. Okay. Let's grab some lava from here. If I jump right, it's not too bad, but... There we go. Let's finish you up. It was like a split second. That's awesome. And those ones will be done in a second. And then we'll be able to make our forge. Hopefully I'll be able to make throwing knives. And then I won't ever have to worry about those John Cena guys anymore. Because I just thought it'd be fun. Um, although I've never made throwing knives before. I've never done it. So I'm hoping... Oh, hey. Give, give me my bucket back. I'm hoping... There we go that um this works and i i know that throwing items or like you know shooting items don't work on endermen so i doubt that the throwing knives will work on the endermen but it's always worth a shot right i mean can't blame me for trying hey come on there we go oh i need to pick you up thank you and well i guess i can grab this clay Oh, wrong one. And get you guys done. Like so. 26. Did I miss that one? I guess so. 28. Cool. So let's get this stuff out of there. Let's make our tool forge up. And I think we'll call this a pretty productive episode. That was the recipe, wasn't it? Seared bricks, iron blocks. Oh, that's the stencil table. That would not be what I need. I just got an achievement. I don't know what it was, but I got an achievement. Let me go ahead and put these back in here. You're the one I want, right? Tool station. Aha, uh -huh. that's that's probably got the recipe for the throwing knives. That's not a throwing knife, is it? No? Or maybe that is a throwing knife. Maybe that is. Then what are the Shakiras for? Or what are these called? What are these called? Shukrin. I don't know. Let's make some throwing knives. <laughs> after all of that I can make some throwing knives so I need this blade right here and I think sticks was the other part I needed and I can make sticks come on give me the give me the wood give me the wood there we go and let's get these out of there I guess I could have done this in my individual crafting but whatever all right so like that and then I go, oh, I got to make the blade, which I think I can probably do flint. Let's see. Yes, I can. Cool. 
And then we make our throwing knife like this and like that. Yes, flint throwing knives. All right, cool. We've got them. Now I'm sure I've got quartz down here. I can sharpen these bad boys up a little bit. Uh, that's bone meal. Where's my quartz at? One of these gives me quartz, doesn't it? I thought one of these gives me quartz. Well, I guess I can use some of this quartz real quick. I know it's not as good. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me, please. I know it's not as good, but I don't have any regular quartz at the moment. I'm going to have to head to the nether to get that. But at least it's a step in the right direction to sharpen this bad boy up. So let's go ahead on to you. Oh, that's why you didn't work. That's right. I forgot it to finish doing this tool forge. Um, tool like that and like that. There we go. Now we've got our tool forge. Awesome, awesome. Bingo. And what did those shurikens go to? Those are arrows. I don't know what those shurikens go to. Oh, maybe this thing. Aha, four of those. Ah, interesting. Maybe we'll make some of those up just for fun too while we're doing this, All right? So there's one, two, um, three, and I'm sure I probably left. Wait, where's the rest of my flint? Where'd all my flint go? I didn't use it all. It's probably on the ground somewhere and I just didn't notice it. I've got flint around here somewhere. There we go. Oh, it's in my hot bar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, cool. So then we'll make up this guy like so. Like that. Oh, we get 31 of these guys. All right, cool. Now we're going to upgrade this one with some Certus Quartz. Okay, Certus Quartz doesn't upgrade that one. Darn it. What about you? Nope, it doesn't do that either. Okay. Well, so much for that idea. Let's go see if these do really any damage. Uh, two hearts, one and a half hearts. Yeah, so I'm going to have to upgrade those for sure, obviously. But let's see how much... Let's see. I can throw from a good distance, which is good. Because that's going to keep me away from the creepers. So that's awesome. Now I just realized that I finished my blast furnace, so let's 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 go put the blast furnace in. Yes, this one this one might be the one that I need to leave a hole in the middle. I don't remember for sure. Um, I need to leave a hole here so I can hit that with the hammer. All right, so one, two, three. Come on, I got a new mouse. Still getting used to it. Not sure how I feel about it. Might need to go get another one. I don't know if I told you. I know I put them. I put it in the description of the last episode. But the reason that I hadn't put putting out episodes for a couple days was because my dogs literally ate the cords to both my keyboard and my mouse. I was unable to access my computer, and with work and stuff like that, I wasn't able to get to uh, the store to go get some new stuff, but I got new stuff now, so. Okay, blast furnace. Haha, -ha, cool, it didn't have to be full, awesome. And let me get my block back. And now, yeah, now I just put cold coke in there, right? Hey, where's my cold coke? It's still going? Oh my goodness, that is so slow. That is so slow. Okay, that's gonna take a while. But anyways, I'll get the coal coat going and then I'll get some steel going. Let us see if we finished any achievements. I think I did a couple. Yes, so we got our coke oven. Let's go ahead and get our loot chest for that. And, oh, I gotta make treated wood with the creosote. Okay, well, I'm not there yet. Um, but I did get, make a gear so I can claim that one. And I'll probably make the rest of these casts uh, in between this episode and next. Did I get... Did I get any of these? No. What about over here? Uh, what is this? I already made... Oh, I got to make the rest of them. Okay. That could be next time. Yeah. Good stuff for next time. 
So at least we have now making our trip to the nether and we know that um, those black widows suck and they almost killed me even though it really wasn't that big of a fight or anything. And we've got our uh, immersive engineering stuff started which is awesome because now I can start making steel and making some better equipment. And let's open some stuff. Some ender pearl dust. Well, that's useful. I like that. And oh, you've got to be kidding me. You cannot be serious right now. You cannot be serious right now. How many times am I going to get the kitchen? How many times am I going to get that kitchen? Ay, ay, ay. And essence bricks. I don't know what those are from. What are those from? Magical crops. Interesting. I'll have to check those out. And I think that's it for loot stuff. So I think this is a good place to wrap up. I think this is pretty productive. We got to the nether. We've got our immersive engineering stuff. And now we're ready to start doing some other stuff. I'm going to get a whole bunch unlocked when I get all these uh, <clears throat> uh, casts done. And then I can actually make my knapsack, which I like. I feel naked without my knapsack. It's just more storage space. And this is going to lead us into some more power generating things like the water wheel. And I don't know how to got to go deeper. Isn't that what we just did? Oh, it's a sieving montage. Why hasn't it unlocked? Okay, go deeper. Oh. Oh, I haven't made the flint and steel yet. Okay, I got the obsidian, but I haven't made the flint and steel yet because I need the cold coke. So that'll probably be where we start off the next episode. So I hope you guys are enjoying and I hope you want to see more of it. And also, if you have any tips or tricks for me, please let me know down in the comments because I will now give you 100% full credit for it because there's been a couple of you over the time that have given me a lot of useful information and I want to make sure that I recognize you for it. But until, okay, here's a test. Is that a creeper? Or is that just a zombie with boots on? Well, I think it was a creeper. That guy's moving fast. Whoever that is, he's moving fast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoopsie. I was trying to switch off the throwing knife so I didn't throw it, but awesome, 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 awesome. What did we get? Sulfur dust? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying. We're done for the day. And until next time, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.